With 23 enforcement warrants with an outstanding value of $13,430. That looks like the car in there. Good afternoon, I'm Kirk. This is Alyssa. We're with the Sheriff's Office. Yeah. Looking for Isaac Roberts. That's me. What do you cops want? No, we're not the police. We're with the Sheriff's Office. All the same to me. Do you mind if we come in and have a chat about some outstanding warrants we have in your name? No, I don't know what you're talking about. We have 23 enforcement warrants with a total value of $13,430. Now, mate, you've got the wrong house. Well, have a copy of your outstanding matters and a copy of your seven-day notice. This explains the payment options as well as the actions that can be taken against you if you fail to make payment immediately. We can take payment by cash or FPOS. How would you like to pay? You want $13,000 now? You're trying to raise revenue or something? I don't have that kind of money just lying around. Look, I understand it is quite a lot. However, as I said, if you're unable to finalise these matters, we will be forced to take action against you today. Yeah, I get it. Pick on the poor, right? You cowboys are all taught. If you're unable to finalise your payment, we will be forced to seize your vehicle today. What? You can't just take my car. My wife needs that to go to work. It's not even mine, it's hers. The vehicle is registered in your name, therefore you're responsible for any fines incurred by the vehicle. Now, look, these fines are probably hers. I'll nominate her. She can pay him. The time for nomination has passed. Once an infringement has been escalated to an enforcement warrant, except for an exceptional circumstances. This is a total infringement of my rights. I wasn't notified about any fines. All correspondence and notifications were sent to the address listed on your driver's license. You would have received multiple letters for each fine. Letters? Look, my wife deals with all that. I'm a busy man. Okay, Mr. Roberts, can you please let us know your intention today? Will you be finalising this warrant in full or will we be seizing your vehicle? Now, what about this? This says right here I've got seven days to sort this out. Yes, and over the next seven days you can discuss this with Fines Victoria. However, to ensure that you do so, we still have to take action against you today. Now, I'm going to fight this! If that's your intention, I may be able to help you. So we can seize your vehicle in what's called a walking possession. So this means that you can keep your vehicle whilst we resolve the matters. So what, you're going to put a clamp on it or something? No, no, you can still use the vehicle. There are a couple of conditions, but this is an arrangement that we can make today. And if court doesn't go my way, you can just come back and take my car. If you're able to finalise your outstanding matters over the next seven days, you won't ever hear from us again in relation to this. The seizure will also be lifted from your vehicle. You can do that? If you're happy to meet these conditions, then we can definitely help you today. Okay. Okay, yeah. Can we come in to discuss the details and fill out the paperwork? Yeah. Yeah, fine. How much time is this going to take? 